Net investment tax. What is that? Hey, taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez CPA here, and we're back with another installment of What Is That? where we discuss financial term and topics you may have heard, but we make them super easy to understand. Today, we're talking about the net investment tax, which is affecting more and more high income earners. The net investment tax is a 3.8 surtax on net investment income. What is net investment income? It's things like interest, dividends, capital gains. It also includes annuities, royalties, and passive rents. Taxpayers who are subject to this tax are single individuals who make more than 200,000 or married filing jointly individuals who make more than 250,000 or married filing separate individuals who make more than 125,000. Now, the way the tax is actually calculated is pretty tricky. Most people think it's just the 3.8% on the net investment income, but it's actually not. It is the 3.8% multiplied by the smaller of either the net investment income or the amount of income total that exceeds that threshold that I just mentioned, either 200 or 250 or 125. The next question most people have is how can I avoid net investment income tax? And a lot of times it's about ensuring that your adjusted gross income remains below that figure. So either make less, which is never fun, contribute more to charity or put as much as possible up to the max into your retirement account to reduce your AGI. Tax loss harvesting on your stocks is also a great strategy because you can reduce your capital gains by having some capital losses right before the end of the year to offset. Now, what I want to talk about most in this video is actually some proposed changes currently in Congress right now. The Republican side wants to ease the taxing of net investment tax. They're not a huge fan of it. Obviously they want high income earners to be able to be taxed less. And so what they're proposing is that the married filing jointly threshold currently of 250,000 be raised to 400,000. This means that taxpayers who are married filing jointly and making less than 400,000 would not be subject to the net investment tax where we know right now taxpayers who are married filing jointly over 250 are currently subject to the Democrats. On the other hand, want the exact opposite. In fact, president Biden wants to expand the net investment tax. Biden has said that he wants to increase the rate from 3.8% to 5% specifically for taxpayers making more than 400,000. He even wants the net investment income tax to be charged against business income, including the businesses where a taxpayer materially participates. In other words, not a passive one. Biden has stated that he would use these additional revenues for the Medicare program to prevent its insolvency. Believe it or not, though, we already pay a Medicare surtax for certain wages above a threshold, but that Medicare surtax has not been going to the Medicare fund for years. These proposed changes could have a significant impact on high income earners and business owners alike. So it's important that you stay informed if this possibly affects you to keep up to date with all the information we're putting out, hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at accounting to scale until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez. Yeah.